Hi, welcome to another Learning Through Play. Today we're going to be learning our alphabet, our letters, and have lots of fun. So for our babies, our birth to a year, what you do is try and find letters that are different colors and textures. You're going to let your baby play with foam letters at bath time. You're going to introduce them to large wooden letter puzzles and durable plastic letters. Because you have to remember at this age, of course, the letters are just going to be going into their mouth. They're going to be chewing and they're going to be banging. Then we get up to our toddlers, the one to two year olds. By this stage, um, you can help your toddler to sort different letters. And you can do that according to color, texture, and shape. You're talking about the sound that each letter makes and which direction they go up or down, um, especially when you're sticking the foam letters to the tub or your magnetic letters on the fridge or on a um, cookie sheet. And in particular, you're going to introduce your child to the first letter of their name. So I have my cookie sheet here with one set of letters. Um, you're going to go through um, and uh, talk about the sound each letter makes. So you're going to say A and you're going to go A, uh, B, B, C, K, and so forth. Um, you're going to um, sort, so you can do different colors. If you had um, different textured letters, like sometimes you can get the letters that are ridged, so there's a nice ridged ripple feel to them. You could also get the plastic a version of these that will stick to the um, metal. And these, of course, are the uh, foam ones. So you could sort by the texture. And then in terms of sorting by shape, well, the B, the D, and the P, shape-wise, are pretty similar. They have the ram ball on the top with the line going down. Some things are more round than others, and some things are longer than others. So, one way of sorting. Um, and then we're going to be doing um, their names. So, for instance, my name's Anne. So, uh, as, as we go through our alphabet enough times, they pick up the sound of the letter. So if you say ah uh, for Ann, I take my letter A and I put it there. A for Ann. And that's the introduction to their name, the first sound of their name. And then if you want, which is fun and they will enjoy completely, is Get a little puppet with a mouth that moves. And you're going to let the puppet eat the letters. Okay, so you could do the ABC sign. You could do A, A, nom, 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 nom. Quickly take it away without them seeing. Do the next letter. What is it? B, B. Num 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 num. C. K. Num 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 num. And they will love to feed the cat or whatever puppet you have. So it's just another way to reiterate the letter name and sounds in a fun way. Then we have our um, 
preschoolers, our two to four year olds. So for that group, you're going to need probably at least three sets of the alphabet. I only have one set here, um, but you're going to need at least three sets so that you can actually create words with like double or triple letters in them. And you're going to uh, make a word like his name, his complete name. And you're going to maybe do mom, dad, your pet's name, um, small names like that. So I can't do and really because I don't have two and two. Um, I can use my U and there's my N and I'll grab my E and there's my name. So this will help them at least identify if they see this written down, they'll know that's their name. Put them back here. Um, and any other words like dog, D-O-G, something small that they can relate to and that you can point at. So that if you have your cat, I would put C, A, and T. Is that the right way? There we go. Cat. And you point to the cat so that they can make the connection between these three letters being cat. So just three, um, some ideas for the three different age groups. By the time the four-year-olds are ready to go to school, they will be more than ready than many of their classmates um, in terms of reading and spelling. And that's a good boost up for the rest of their life. So hopefully you enjoyed these uh, little bits of information and hopefully you'll try them out and we'll see you next time.